a lot of it comes down to a couple of things. One, your exam is designed to be something you've never seen before. And the best way to prepare for that is to put yourself in unknown situations every single day and go, how do I deal with stuff when I don't know what's going on? Right? Number two, you do know more than you think you do. Your bigger problem is not knowledge, it's using your knowledge. But we'll never know until you start doing questions. So students are like, oh, Yvonne, I struggle with communication. How many questions have you done? One, I'm not interested. You need to come back to me when you've done four or five questions because one, communication improves with practice and repetition. So you want to improve communication? Do more discussion questions. It's really quite simple. Once you've done five or six of them and you're still struggling, then come to me because I can help you with your skill, okay? But if, you've, if this is the first time you've done it, don't say, oh, I suck at communication. Yeah, well, you've never done it before, so why would you be good at it? <laughs> you've got to practice, right? And practice is not twice. Practice is not twice. That's not how it works, right? Three, and I cannot emphasize this enough. If you get nothing else out of the session, guys, CTA has nothing to do with how smart you are. Every single one of you here are smart enough to be a CA. Every one of you. You would not be here if you did not have the intelligence levels required to be a CA. In your heart of hearts, you know, a lot of you are incredibly determined, which is amazing because sometimes it's that sheer strength of like, I will do this, that you're bulldozing through the rest of your life. You know, and that's what's getting you through. It's exhausting. It's terrifying. I have so much respect for that. And I was there. I remember what that was like. It was like CA or death. You know, those, those are my two options. Either I'm going to be a CA or I'm going to die. That was it. There was nothing else, you know? Like, I remember how that feels. But there's that fear of like, but Yvonne, I don't think I'm smart enough because this stuff isn't going well. Guys, that's not how this works. That's not how this works. The people who pass CTA, if you ask people who pass CTA, you will always hear the same thing, which is, I did lots of questions. Stop with the theory. I did lots of questions. 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 And unfortunately, doing lots of questions comes with the reality that you have to keep putting yourself in the position of feeling stupid. It's a choice that most people are not prepared to make. Why do so many people fail CTA? Because they are so desperate to avoid feeling stupid that they never do questions. And then when it counts the most, they can't do it. If you want to be able to do questions, you've got to practice doing questions. Just that simple. If you want to learn to swim, you've got to get in the water. It's cold. It's uncomfortable. You're going to feel like you're going to drown. But I want you in that water now so that you can learn how to deal with the panic, how to deal with it, how to take better strokes, how to do the stuff. You need to get in the water every single day. Every day. Are you smart enough? Yeah. I'm not worried about that. I have absolutely no concern over whether or not you're smart enough to do this. My only concern is whether or not you're brave enough. Are you brave enough? Because it takes guts to put yourself out on the line multiple times a day. It takes guts to put yourself out there and go, let me do this again. Let me do another question. I choose to feel stupid. I choose to make mistakes. There's people out there criticizing. You're always watching. They feel smarter. They look smarter. What's going on there? I don't give a shit. That's not your journey. Nobody around you who has done this, who is doing this, who knows how hard this is, will criticize what you're doing because we know you're in the trenches, you're in the gutters, and it hurts. You're bleeding on the floor. It is horrifying. It's really exhausting. People are like, oh, it's just a year of your life. Yeah, it's a long fucking year. And for a lot of us, it's more than one year. It's a horrible experience. I have respect for the fact that you're prepared to put yourself through this horrible experience. What I need from you is bravery. I need you to choose 
to feel stupid. Because the people who step forward and go, um, let me just hear that again. Those are the people that learn. The people who run back to their cave and go, oh, I don't want, I don't want anybody to know. You're never going to learn anything. You're absolutely smart enough to do this. But are you brave enough? Are you brave enough? Can you step out and do what it takes? Can you choose to make mistakes? Can you choose to put yourself in a position where you know you're going to get stuff wrong? But I'm asking you to get stuff wrong so that you can effectively guide your studying. I know you're not going to pass questions at the moment, but I want to make sure that every hour of your studying is spent on your goal, which is what do I need to do today to help me earn more marks? That's it. That's the only thing that counts. I lost marks today. Was it because of knowledge or because of practice? Okay, it was because of knowledge. Okay, great. Let me go get some more knowledge. I lost marks today. Was it because of knowledge or practice? I actually was it because of practice. Okay, great. Let me go and do another question. I lost marks today. Why? Because I need, okay, let me go in that, that which stuff. That's all it is. I want you to guide your studying. And at the same time, you're going to learn to stay calm. Make every mistake now. Guys, you're either going to fuck it up before the exam or you're going to fuck it up in the exam. What's your choice? If you protect yourself from mistakes now, what do you think is going to happen in the exam? So choose. Make every mistake now. Fail every question, everything. Fail everything. Fail as much as you possibly can. And every time you fail, you can tell yourself, well, that's one less thing I'm going to screw up in the exam. <laughs> right? Screw everything up now. So that in the exam, there's not a lot left to screw up because you're going to suck at it now or you're going to suck at it later. It's your choice. Very few people are prepared to make that choice. We would rather, always rather choose later. I, I, I don't have the strength to face this right now. I need you to have that strength. I don't need you to have any more intelligence than you currently have. You do not need to be any smarter than you currently are. I need you to be brave. That's it. That's all I need. I need you to be brave enough to step forward and go, I need to do what feels ugly. And you will. You will. You will see your marks improve. And they they will start coming right. What cost me my marks? Knowledge or practice? Can this still be saved? Yes. Can you still pass even though it feels like a disaster? Yes. Is this going to be worthwhile? Yes. Is it crap? Yes. Does it feel like shit? Yes. Should you have done it? I don't know. <laughs> I figured that one out yet. I'm not sure. Not sure about that one. But will it be worthwhile? Yeah, it will. Because what you're doing is something very few people are prepared to choose to do. And so, yeah, definitely will be worthwhile. It will be fantastically beneficial for your career in a whole bunch of different ways. But the thing that I need from you the most is stepping up and saying, I am prepared to choose to make mistakes because that is the most effective way to learn.